for anyone who wants to learn a very traditional woven darning technique. I chose these socks just because I knew that it would be a quick hole to fix, so I can show you the steps relatively quickly. When you're darning a sock, you often want a surface that you can kind of do it against. So this is what's called a darning mushroom. If you don't have one of these, you can definitely use a light bulb, something that'll just give you a surface to work against so you're not sewing your sock together. You'll want to start about, I usually do a pinky finger away Away from the hole in each direction so you kind of like find that distance in the corner and you'll do a running stitch so that just involves picking up the fabric kind of in equidistant stitches pulling through in the second row you're going to repeat yourself but you're going to want to match the stitches from the previous row as closely as possible just kind of get lost in the repetition so when you reach the hole what you'll do is kind of just create a float around it that's normal you'll just have these kind of like longer threads that cover the hole and you'll end up just leaving a tail. At this stage what you're going to do is follow a classic weave and that involves going over and under the stitches that you've just made. Starting in the kind of top corner I'm going to decide to go under first. I'm going to go over the next, under, over, for the next row, you're going to do the exact opposite. So the rows that you went under, you're going to go over, and you're going to go under the rows that you went over. You're seeing the opposite stitches pop up. That's exactly what you want. So again, you're going to repeat what you did the first row, which is going under the first stitch, over, under. At this point, you're kind of just wanting to get close to the last line of stitches that you did. So you're not necessarily going to go directly under over the stitches, but kind of go under the sock itself. So there's just two rows of stitches you're doing and you're just alternating between going over and under to under and over. And in order to clean it up, you're just darning in the ends exactly how you've done this whole process. So this is my tail. I'm just going to go under over. It can kind of be arbitrary at this point. And once you get a centimeter in, you can cut your end. And that's pretty locked in. So just cut those when you're ready. 